Hello. Thank you so much for joining me. How you doing? Um, today I'm going to react to... Hold on. One in a trillion moments. One in a million? No. One in a billion? No. One in a trillion moments in Snooker. Um, by Snooker HQ. Put this compilation together. Go check out his channel. Link down below. I like Snooker. I have barely watched any of it, but I like pool, and it's like bigger pool. So, I like Snooker. I'm actually excited to watch some Snooker. I really haven't watched, like, any. So let's do it. One in a trillion moments. will be the winner. He's got it. Go, go. Wow, look Two at the speed of that felt. It's still moving. What just happened? Man, I need to watch the rules again. Because he hit that ball, it almost wasn't even done moving. Wow. I don't know what just happened. It's in hope, is it? I think it is. Is that on? Is that on? Oh, would you believe it? One. I didn't believe it the first time. Things your way. Was that on purpose? Well, he was up out of his seat, ready to come to the table. Slumped back down again. Got a chance here for Steve too. Bad for the professionalism there, I would have thought. Hey, he couldn't have held it in. It was a sneeze. It was, you know, unconscious. What is he playing here? A plant, obviously, on Eric thinks. I'm so freaking confused now. You know, Is that like from a movie? Never know. You never know. There's six pockets on the table. There's, There's no way he did that on purpose, dude. There's no way. There's six of them, you know. And he's on the ground. That was unbelievable. 94. He's got the pot. Has he got the cannon over the middle pocket? If so, it's some shot, and he's played it. And it's Perfect a placement, shot. right? It's a short... Shook his head as if to indicate he didn't. <gasps> oh, foul. You're kidding me. And frame, coming down. It's just blowing the frame. Extraordinary. Perhaps irritated that he fluked the cannon. I don't know. Either way, he's just gifted. How did he manage to... I mean, I'm not going to judge that guy is a professional snooker player, but how did he miss that shot and manage to hit the cue ball off the table? The frame, an early Christmas present for Dom. Even if he had made it, if the cue ball goes off the table, isn't that, does it still count? 10, Ten seconds. This nine, is going to be the eight, last shot. Seven, six, five, He's got it. Four, three, seven, seven, no idea what the countdown is. <laughs> For me, that was in before the bell. That's in before the end. That was like equivalent in, in basketball to putting up the three-pointer right as the bell goes off. Prime? Do you want to withdraw the concession? Prime? Match? Helen McManus. Withdraw the concession. Yep. Hold on. Oh, wait. Prime. There was some kind of explanation here Edge. at the bottom. Helen McManus. Yep. Later on, he realizes a mistake, but the referee says it's over. Start time. Thanks, Mike. Honestly, he, he handled that pretty classily. You know, he shook his hand, said thank you, and then, then he waited to give himself a smack. That was crazy. 
What a fluke, and look where the pink's going. Surely he's not on the pink as well. Well, Joe <laughs> smiles, but... Now, why has he sat down? It, I don't think he realised he didn't, he didn't know a red went in. <laughs> well, that, 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 that one there. I have never <laughs> seen that before. Having a little joke with his opponent, that's nice to see. Judd Trump will be willing. John Higgins to make this as well. No doubt about that. Is he going to play the double or is he going to play it into the corner? He's going to play it. Get in! Oh, what a shot! Best doublers in the professional game. The opponents all seem, you know, supportive and happy of each other. That's pretty cool. He has finished absolutely inch perfect on the black. <laughs> Ooh. Well, yeah, you heard someone shout out, no, OK, he's got the seven. snooker. That's an outrageous fluke. He hit the knuckle of the middle pocket. Well, Very tight. There's no way he's going for that. There's no way that goes in. It's close to the pocket. Oh, my word, he's gone in. Can you believe it? What a thing to happen. What a match. What a decider. What a sport. Then all of a sudden... These are some next level shots. Looks like he'll be favorite. And I guess they're one in a trillion shots, huh? And that's what it you. means to this young Chinese player. Raises his fist in the air. From this young he rookie. Too early. Carrying the flag for China. Oh. Well, well, the the pink is. That's why you don't do that. Isn't in, but surely that's. Enough to take this. <clears throat> He's not finished yet, Joe Swim. Absolutely incredible. The young Chinese player thought he was. And that's equivalent to like, you know, in track where the guy starts celebrating right as he's about to cross the finish line and the other guy dives in front of him. He's going to have to get everything. everything. He's asked for the longest thing that he can produce and. Uh, Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't be uh, good. Do you know, it was Mark Allen 12. You don't see it very four. often, but you know, he had to get the rest out of the way so quickly there. And home fans could not be more delighted. Wait, he didn't do that on purpose, right? Oh, oh he did? What the hell did he just do? You don't say it very forward. often, but, you know, he had to get the rest out of the way so quickly there. And home fans could not be more delighted. 61. Yes, Six well played. Clearance from Ding Junhui at 56. Mark Selby, well, he was unlucky, but he played his part in what turned out to be an excellent final. It's Ding Junhui, the local hero. Who's this the Selby guy must be a legend, because I've seen him multiple times. In winner video. of the first Jiangsu Classic. He beats Mark Selby by six frames to... So this is the fluke. Look at this, Dave. What the... That's incredible, isn't it? In fact, it, it goes along the rail of the table. Never seen anything. You, sometimes you see it'll go along the rail and drop into that middle, but to come off... Did it just hit off the knuckle here? ...off the table and go into the opposite middle, that's, that's virtually voodoo, that is. Never Oh my flukes. god. That's black magic almost. And goes around. That was one in a trillion. <laughs> that's the one in a trillion shot. Oh, that's that's, virtually that's like the greatest trick shot ever hit. That is. Rides it, grinds it up on the side, hits the knuckle to get the perfect English to spin it around. Never mind flukes. That's black magic almost. Oh, fabulous shot. Very good plan. When you consider all those balls are four four inches apart. He was concentrated more on the white than the pot, probably. I, I didn't realize that was a triple um, combo. <laughs> Absolutely tremendous performance from Ronnie. Now he's doing it one handed. <laughs> what a flex. Two. 
I'm not understanding what just happened. You're kidding. Why did no one react to that? That was insane. Two. Two. Uh, did you not just see what just happened, everybody? Even he's not impressed by himself. Sean Murphy was on 147, but he wasn't in a situation. Yeah, there goes the red. Well, if he knocks this black in, gets on the yellow. I, I, I was reading the bottom. What, what did he do? Black in. I must, I don't understand the game. Well, it's, in. it's something, or maybe this is, maybe it's not over. Well, if he knocks this black in, gets on the yellow. He Oh, where's that cue ball? Keep running. Keep running. Just about. Now he's got to get the pink. Am I right? <laughs> Go on, White. Go on, White. That is perfect. What a shot left handed, ladies and gents. Dealing in fairs. <laughs> This way. I can't see the pocket. I can only see the ball. I'm guessing the pocket. The table looks massive. What did that say at the bottom? Putting both pink and black was nearly impossible. Okay. Try and cut out the guys. Yeah, I'd say so. You're trying to get on the black as well. Even just getting the pink would be like impossible. Right? Of course. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Not impossible, but that would be very. That's a very hard shot. He got the pink. Do that, baby. What a player. Why is something else? Wow. <laughs> now, why did he go for that pocket? Why is something else? Wow. I guess it was the only pocket. That's rough. What? Now, Ronnie O'Sullivan, I feel like I've heard that name. Makes 147. <laughs> Need to look up the rules again. What a break! What a fantastic maximum break that is! Lighted John Virgo. Evidently, that was remarkable. I'm, I'm delighted. And just to spare a thought for Judd Trump, he has proved that he doesn't have to pop balls, he's got a B game, and once his potting comes back, it'll be a danger for everyone. I knew it. He's the GOAT, isn't he? Ronnie. I've heard of him. Well, even though I didn't uh, fully understand half those clips, I was still able to appreciate some of that absolute madness. And I love to watch it regardless. I do need to brush up on the rules, clearly. But that was really cool. Curious what the top comment says. I know it was an exhibition, but that pink plus black combo by Alex Higgins is the most magical thing ever happening on a schnooker table. <laughs> awesome. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Have a fantastic weekend. I'll see you next week. Goodbye.